Hey, Pearl. Toning up for rear of the year, are you? It's one of my New Year's resolutions, if you must know. Hey, look at Edna. She'll catch a death out there. Have a word, eh? Me? Well, why can't you? Well, she's taken what I'm to me dad really hard, and I don't think I'm the ideal person to be talking to her right now, do you? I bet she's sorry they didn't settle the differences while she still had a chance. Get her back inside, will you? Please? <sighs> um, any news? No. Thank you for your concern for her welfare, albeit a bit late. Well, we'll have you rang Harry, uh, Mr. Passard. He's not returning my calls. What if Toots is gone? Harry, get up. Can't keep coming up here. I'm run off my feet without Terry. Mm. I was just getting up. Mm. And your mobile's been going off as well. Might be an emergency. Mm. Oh. It's only Edna being neurotic about that animated bath match she called a dog. I hope that's not an indication of a usual bedside manner. She lives for that little dog. You should know how good my bedside manner is. Mm -hmm. But I can give you a refresher if you like. <laughs> Later, naughty boy. <laughs> What's that secret? Um, it was meant to be a surprise. Oh, it's charming. What time did you come in last night? You should have woken me. Oh, not late, just past ten. But you look so peaceful lying there, I just thought I'd cover you up. And I'm really sorry about pulling a late one the other night. Crusty old accountant, too much port, you know what it's like. Well, I told you, I'm not sulky. It's not really me, is it? It's very jolly. But you're perfect just the way you are. You know that. Was that my phone? I thought I'd left it in here. No, it was mine. Oh. Um, have you checked the car? I'm running late for a meeting with Matthew. Well, I'll look for it. OK. I promise I'll be home early this evening. you ring me with an update just get it over with just tell me is it bad news she's been torturing herself for hours tootsie is fine oh thank goodness look i called you and i left messages now where were you if you must know her blood pressure dropped again late last night so i stayed to keep an eye on her and but, but can she go and see her yes yes please oh thank you What's that look for? I just noticed you've been running late some mornings, that's all. Yeah, well, I don't answer to you. <laughs> oh, I am overwhelmed by your kindness. I kept imagining her all alone in the dark, suffering. And if you hadn't been here with her, well, it just doesn't bear thinking about, does it? No, it doesn't. Um, you do realise that we have to bill extra for overnight supervision? How much extra? Shouldn't he got a pension? Oh, nonsense. Money doesn't come into it. All that matters is that she's safe and well. I wouldn't know what to do without her, would I, Precious? There are a few more tests I'd like to run, just to be on the safe side. Whatever she needs, you do it. She is out of danger, isn't she? Yeah, don't be worrying. I expect little Angela is there to make a full recovery. Now, why don't you pop back in after lunchtime? You can take her home with you, then. Oh. Oh, you can come home, precious. This afternoon, you can come home. Oh, how's the nature trail going, then? Oh, it's uh, Hey, now. Language. Well, we did mini beef in reception. When can I go back to school? She's making a right show of me. Now, madam, you go and find some insects. I mean it, now. I don't know how many more days I can take off. I only get four weeks holiday a year. Well, I said I'd take it tomorrow, didn't I? And this came first thing. We have an inspection from the home education people on Wednesday. That's another day off. Well, that's good, isn't it? No, it's not. It's very bad. Zach, 
face it. We are failing you and they'll see it. Yeah, well, you get yourself off to that mobile library and get some books on teaching. Me? Mm. Well, I can't go in the library, can I? Folk will think I've gone soft. <sighs> So, she hasn't been in touch then? No, why should she? Well, you said it has to be more spontaneous. Put me in here for half and a meat pie. I'm giddy. Can't win, can I? Well, I'll see if I can get five minutes off and come and join you. No, because Andy used to worry that he'd turn out like his real dad. How mad is that? Yeah, mad. Look, can we talk about something else? It's getting a bit old. See, these are just the basic ones and I still haven't got a clue. Oh. Maybe we should get her a private tube to us. Yeah, I'll pick him up in her private jet on the way to bank our next million. Ah! Oh. Mm. Mum, Mr. Fulton just squash me. <laughs> no harm done. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty more where he come from. <laughs> so sorry to Mrs. Sugden for messing up a nice clean bar. Colleen's gonna be a single mother now. Well, I've updated your bill for you, but there's no much or anything. Like oh, that. no, no, I shall settle it tomorrow. I don't like bills hanging around. Oh. Forever so grateful. <laughs> Little one. <laughs> Why don't you return me call? There's no problem. Hey, don't you have a go at him. He's been up with her all night, you know. And from what I hear, above and beyond the call of duty, you make sure you get a good sleep tonight. Uh, Tootsie, not Louise. Oh, it's on the mend, is she? If you were half as dedicated as your partner, you would know. He's kept a vigil over her, hasn't he, sweetie pie? Mm? Our hero. Well, go on now, the pair of you be giving me a big head. If Marlon finds anything crawling in the kitchen, he'll have the vapours. <laughs> they say they don't need us, men. Show them somewhere with more than four legs and they're putty in our hands. <laughs> Is it Mr Chips? Answer it then. Hello? Can you hear me? That's a bad signal. Uh, <clears throat> who's Mr. Chips then? You do fancy, man. I think it must be a teacher. It's a film. Oh, come on then, Diane, own up. Zach, about some rabbits. Uh, he was only in here a minute ago. Don't tell me he's given up and got himself a mobile. What is this? The Spanish Inquisition? The Spanish Inquisition always gets their man. Why is Zach down as Mr. Chips? The home educating bell saw Zach is Mr. Chips. Oh, uh, what am I then? Stud muffin. You okay? I didn't sleep very well. I need this witnessing. Forgot to ask him this morning. Oh, well, I'll get him to give you a call. He uh, left his phone at home today. You know, we've all been under a lot of strain recently. I'm sure he feels as bad about it as you. You'll make it up. Oh, we haven't had an argument. <laughs> yeah, that was my favourite tipple. Vodka in denial, no ice. It's up to his old tricks again. Being evasive, staying out late. Why am I surprised? It's hard to trust someone once they betrayed you. But don't go torturing yourself over every little sign. Oh, do you think I'm looking for it? Imagining it? Well, maybe it's the drink talking. The sad lush looking for some sympathy again. Are you sure I can't tempt you again tonight? Is that real enough for you? So if I were to take out all 400 tomorrow, is that enough notice for you? Oh, you don't have to give notice. Oh. 
Oh, and I need to get Zack a little something for getting her out of the trap so fast. How much is your malt whiskey? Twenty-seven pounds. Right, you don't have to do that. He's a proud man, just get him a drink in. Oh. Will you give Tootsie my best wishes? Oh, thank you. Yes, I will. So, I hear Harry's the local hero. He's very committed. Mm -hmm. He spent all night at the surgery with her. I'm not being nosy, but £400 is a lot of cash to be drawing out. Well, you can't put a price tag on your pet's health. Mm -hmm. Anyway, she's got insurance, haven't you? Come on now, Pearl. Emily's got a cue for me. You're not insured, are you? I am perfectly capable of settling the bill myself. I was sorry to hear Jackie had gone home. A bit sudden, wasn't it? Yeah, it sort of came up. No chance of her moving up here permanently, then? Uh, no, the reason. But she's settled where she is, and John's got her own life now. Ah, uh, that's kids for you. Never appreciate all you've done for them. I hear you gave her a run for her money when you were younger. Oh, yeah, that's right. Blame the kids. It's never your fault, is it? Go after them. I can't believe you rang her. What were you going to say? I just thought I was going to get voicemail. I wanted to hear what, what, what they... What, what she was like. You're going to have to ask him. He'll only lie to me. It could be totally innocent. Uh, a client called Lucky. Might be a mob boss. Look, are you worried that, you know, if you say something, he might be forced to choose? Oh, he'll never leave me. But he won't be willing to give up his sordid little double life either. So you reckon this Lucky's a working girl? Are you suggesting I can't give him what he needs at home? I know that's not true. I thought I had made myself perfectly clear. I don't want a reprise. I'm sorry. I don't want your sympathy either. No, I am. My head's been in bed since me dad. You know. I'll go. No, no, stay. I do know how difficult it's been for you and... The police will find out who killed him. How fast can you spy on him? Well, it's all right for you. You can skive off at home farm any time you like. Hey. And this tiki mark's not all it's cracked up to be. See that light bulb over my head? Huh? Dad, I want a laptop. Uh, not now. Go and play quietly while I have a word with Jasmine. <clears throat> Oh, no. <laughs> Mum, can I have one? What happened? You can if it'll help. Are you and Dad going back? Yeah, yeah, there's loads of sites to help with homework. And I'm sure there must be some stuff for home teaching, too. Do you want me to look? Aye. Uh, take it with Asta, then. Ah, problem solved. Oh. The, the thing in it, you can get everything to teach you off there for free. Oh, swing for you, Zach Dingle. Oh, Dad, could she teach me? We, yeah, well, I mean, we will uh, we, we will pay for your time, like. <laughs> hey, 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 no, here's a down payment. <gasps> Can I do a day fiction lesson? <laughs> I know it looked like I was doubting you. Maybe I was, but she just seemed so convincing at the time. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, Mum's always been good at repeating the impression she wants. I know it's not my place to slay her, but... Your mum, she makes me so angry. You will get over it. I have. Have you? I wish you'd trust me a bit more, Joe. I've been there too, you know. And it's such a shame. Oh, I know insurance is expensive. But then, of course, I suppose you didn't think it had happened to you. Obviously not. And then, bang, a big bill lands on your lap. And suddenly, ten pounds a month doesn't seem so bad. None of this has escaped me, you know. I cannot believe that I'm getting a lecture about juggling finances from you. It's not a lecture. It's just common sense. Oh. You forgot to sign this. He 
You said you'd witness it for me. Go home early. Thank you. Right. I'll be off then. Did you find my phone? Yes, I did, actually. That was lucky, wasn't it? How long's he been here? Are you jealous? Finding me here, half-dressed, drinking with him in the afternoon. No, I just don't want people thinking you're a complete mess. Well, maybe the lingerie was meant for him. You're never interested, so why wouldn't I seek some affection elsewhere? If there was anything going on between you two again, you wouldn't be behaving like this. You don't have to dress up to get what you want. I know what this is about. And I want exactly the same thing. Do you really? Yes. I want a baby just as much as you do. But we have to remember what the consultant said. A healthy lifestyle is the first step. It's awful not knowing why you have these mishaps. But rest assured, we will make whatever sacrifice we have to to get what we want. It's nothing. Uh, I'm probably just being silly, but... Um... I know, I wasn't expecting last night to happen either. <laughs> but it was amazing. I missed you today. Uh we could go out tonight on a proper day yeah well, it's not that although that would be lovely um i really need to talk to you about something that's what i'm thinking it's very naughty <laughs> <laughs> Oi! what's this about a 400 quid bill i've just had pearl chewing me ear off in the wool pack about it i was in the surgery all night trying to stabilize that dog but edna's not even covered by insurance we're gonna have to wave it wave it yeah, it's not about squeezing margins and putting up prices. It's about building relationships. Relationships? What about you and Andy Sugden? Face it, you needed me then. You're totally devoid of any vision. Got vision? I am trying to make something out of this practice, Paddy, and I can't if you keep interfering. Letting your heart rule over our bank balance. You need to toughen up. But she didn't need them extra tests. You would soon change your tune if she took little precious home with her and it croaked. Uh, right. Listen, I'm the vet who'd stay up all night trying to save an old lady's dog because it meant the world to her. You'd squeeze a little bit more money out of her if it meant a bit more surgery. Are you calling me a liar? Louise, back me up here. Right. I will not have my practice get a bad reputation for ripping off pensioners. I'm reducing a bill and giving her more time to pay it. Or grow a spine, will you? I am! As senior partner, I'm overruling you. And you expect me just to sit back and watch you drive our business back into the ground? No, I, I won't. I'm, I, j Please, no, let's not fall out about this. We're supposed to be mates. And maybe I am trying to stop a mate from screwing up his business. Again! Maybe it is like mother, like daughter. Maybe I'll end up just like her. Don't talk daft. It's not a given, is it? Like, brown eyes or bad teeth. It's up to us how we turn out. I hope I'm nothing like my real dad. Yeah, but you have this image, don't you? Of what your parents should be. And even when they don't live up to it, and you know they never will, you still cling to it. I always hoped that Billy had changed. They'd be the dad that I wanted. My real dad left when I was little. I used to tell people at school he was dead. Killed in the Gulf War. I wish mine were dead at times. You learn not to care. Or at least, not to show you care. I still do though, don't we? Why is it, eh? <sighs> Mum used to blame me when I was little. For him leaving. 
Said it was because I was a little brat. Like you were never her fault. Where is he now? You might have a whole other family out there you don't know about. Well, the last I heard, he was locked up. Loser. <sighs> Look, don't tell anyone about that. I mean, not even Katie. I will tell her, I just when it feels right. Oh. You can't always ditch your family and build a new one, you know. Look at me. Maybe that's why we get on, eh? You should understand me. Look, I've caused so much trouble around here. Maybe I should just move on too. You don't need to do that. You don't need to run away. This place is your own now. First time in my life anyone's ever made me feel wanted. Um, uh, you know what I mean. I meant you and Katie. Of course. We both know what it's like to be let down. We ought to stick together, both of us. Oh, Katie, watch your back. Well, next on SGV, Tracy is playing with fire in Coronation Street. Then at eight, as Britain battles with obesity, we look at some drastic gastric surgery in the Tonight Programme.